Hello everyone, this is MopBot, this is a redstone tutorial, and this is the Toggleable Nether Portal. Now, this is a 3x4 nether portal, which is just a bit larger than the normal nether portal. And for the size of this one, and it only using a single button to be activated and deactivated, the redstone behind it is very simple and very compact. So this is very useful if your nether portal is right by your main base and you don't want all the nether creatures coming through your portal into the overworld. And as a quick disclaimer before I start this tutorial, I just want to say that the item you see before you is a falling edge monostable circuit. This may or may not work for you, it depends on lag and if your world will accept it or not. I'm playing in 1.8 on a completely flat new world and sometimes I can get it to work and others I cannot. So to get started, you're going to want a 3x4 nether portal like the one in front of you, and you're going to want to come up to the second block of the frame and put a stone button. It can also be wood, but I just prefer stone against the obsidian. Then you're going to want to come out along the back and along this bottom block here, place one block with a redstone repeater on top of it, and then diagonal to that a, a sticky piston with a block on top of it, and then next to that sticky piston a block with redstone dust, running into a sticky piston with a redstone block on its face. This over here is the falling edge monostable circuit, which powers this T flip-flop, which will be used for data exchange. This next part is very easy. This is the simple activation. You just want to come one block out diagonally from this redstone block with a redstone repeater coming out of it like this. That runs into a block, and diagonal to that is the dispenser that will hold the flint and steel and then redstone dust on top of that. So if you click this button, or it's already powered, the nether portal will turn on, and if you turn it off, this redstone dust will turn off, and then this will then power the next segment. For this next part, from this redstone block, you need to come out two blocks, and then go down one on top of that block, goes a redstone repeater facing into an upwards facing piston like this, with a block of iron on top of it, and then one block off to the side with redstone dust, on top of that, that is another falling edge monostable circuit that you saw over there. From there you need to go one block down like this, with redstone dust on top of that, and then one block out with a redstone repeater on top of that, and then next to that is a dispenser with the water bucket, and that will be what turns off this portal when it is activated. So the last part of the build is very easy, it's one block behind the dispenser like so, with a repeater on top of that set to four ticks, and then a piece of redstone dust on top of this dispenser like so. So if you go ahead and click this button now, you'll see that the water extended and then retracted immediately. This is a double pulse uh, timer here for this dispenser so that you don't have water spilling everywhere, but now if you click this button you'll see that the portal activates and then deactivates the next time you click it, and it will infinitely loop. So your portal is now done, Anyways guys, this has been MopBot, and I'm out.